Hey, welcome to this week on Hot Golf. We're in the Sand Hills of North Carolina, the home of American golf then and now. We're going to take a little journey through the village of Pinehurst down to the country's number fourth best public course in Tobacco Road and everything this week on Hot Golf. Payne, let's go. Hey, we're joined by Joe Gay right now, and he knows a little bit about North Carolina and the flavor of the Sand Hills. He's a local boy, done good, head golf pro here at Tobacco Road. Joey, the Sand Hills of North Carolina, everything. Oh, just a great place to live, a great place to visit. Uh, golf courses formed here uh, over a century ago. People have been coming down to the Sand Hills to enjoy great golf vacations. And, you know, obviously the Pinehurst Resort, uh, everybody knows about the Pinehurst Resort with the U.S. Opens, all the history there. But there's over 35 golf courses here, Randy, to choose from, and we have a golf package that will fit just anybody's budget. Where, stop. If yep. they wanted the golf package, right. where would they go? Uh, www.tobaccoroadtravel.com, and we can fit all your needs. Uh, we're not that far away from you, five hours from the D.C. area, and uh, the quality of golf here is stellar, as you'll see. Yeah. Bing, bang, bong. You get on the travel website, tobaccoroadtravel.com. Joe, what are they going to see there? They're going to see 35 great golf courses right. like Tobacco Road, your golf course. What are they going to see there? Exactly. What, you know, all the famous architects here, Donald Ross, you had mentioned, uh, Tom Fazio, Mike Strantz left some great artwork here that you're going to see mm -hmm. today. But, uh, I mean, from golf that started in 1895 up to current day uh, projects, you'll see it all here. Yeah, and it's so gorgeous. Tobacco Road, Joey's home course here, is a unique experience. We're also going to visit a couple other golf Absolutely. courses in this episode. Uh, Mid Pines, built in 1921, another Donald Ross uh, design right across the street. Pine Needles, a host of three U.S. Women's Opens. Uh, the number two ranked golf course in the state of North Carolina. What's number one? course number two at Pinehurst number two. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, then uh, we're going to also visit a private club, National, which we can get you on by going through Tobacco Road Travel. National is a Jack Nicklaus signature golf course. Very lush, very nice, and we'll even try to get you on, Randy. Oh, geez, imagine that. <laughs> hey, this is going to be a great episode of Golfing Around from the Sand Hills of North Carolina. You want to be tired of being old men and get out of these rocking chairs and go hit some balls? Let's do it. All right, fine. All right. You wait here. Wait a minute. Help me up, Joe. Help me. Get me up. You know how you judge a good golf course? It's pedigree. It's by great golf magazines like Golf Week and Golf Digest and Golf Magazine saying nice things about you. Joe, they've been saying, well, not so much you, but the golf course itself has gotten some great accolades. They have. Um, we're so fortunate to have this place. And uh, Golf Magazine named it the number one most adventurous golf course in America. Golf World, we're the number four public golf course in America. So we're absolutely thrilled to have those accolades and thrilled that you're here today. Thank you, appreciate it. Now look, we all know that Mike Strands passed away several years ago. Uh, God touched him in a short order and said, look, in your short life, we'll let you do some special things. This golf course, Tobacco Road, certainly is special, Joe. It plays in at what kind of yardage? Uh, 6,500 yards, so uh, not very long by modern standards, but there's a few things you have to uh, overcome to shoot a good score out here. Yeah, you may say to yourself, 6,500 yards, I'm going to tear it up, baby. Well, the unique design, the topography, well, the fact that this golf course is built in an old... It was abandoned sand quarry. Well, you're in the sand hills, so uh, a lot of the golf course that you play out here will be uh, the spoils from those sand quarries, so it creates some really interesting topography. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. I mean, this is the most interesting golf course I've ever seen. It is challenging. It is difficult. It is unique. It is beautiful. It and, is and playable. And, and playable. playable. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> yeah, we we uh, market ourselves as a very difficult golf course. But if you choose the right set of tees, 
It's very intimidating, but he, uh, Strance gave you a lot of width to hit, uh, not a whole lot of trees to curve it around, gave you some generous landing areas. Does look very difficult, but the landing areas are fair and ample, and of course with the length that we talked about, uh, you're not having to grip it and rip it on every hole. Yeah, it's an incredible journey you're about to take with us here on Tobacco Road. Of course, we start on number one. Joe, tell us about it. Number one, uh, a lot of golf course architects like to start you with a wide open hole, so it gives you a good feeling about the golf course. And uh, not here, <laughs> forget no, about no. it. Go to work Probably right away. Probably the second most intimidating golf shot on this golf course is number one. It gets your heart pumping really good, and uh, he shows you a little hint of fairway, so it's a little bit of a blind shot. However, the fairway is out there. You just have to trust me. <laughs> if I can find it. All right, let's tee it up. Hole number one, Tobacco Road. That's gonna work. A little bit left there, Joe. And into some of that trouble, but I'll take it. Give it up. I want you to do the pro when you get the big money. Good stuff, man. Way to na navigate between the little mountains there, Joseph. What you see behind us now is one of the unique features here on Tobacco Road. Pinch points with mounding around the green, Joe. Correct. Yeah, it used to be a haul road for the sand. There was a, a road there, and as they dug the sand out, they left the roads, and that created these mounding, and, and thus we punched through them as a pinch point. Uh, obstacles to go through, oak, over, however you need to get through them, that's what you need to do out here at Tobacco Road. Yeah, it really is interesting. You pitch up and over and in. Joey, being the great golfer he is, I'm really intrigued to see how you play this. So, please, what club are you using? I've got a three wood. We have about 245, a um, little downwind, so I should be able to get it there. And, you know, we had talked about the intimidating shots out here, how much fairway you have to use. Uh, he shows you a little bit, he gives you a lot. That was fast and hot. Your adrenaline's all fired up on hole number one. That's right. Uh, gravity, too, took place. Uh, this green, unlike most of the greens on the golf course, actually slopes away from you. I let that one get away from me, but a front and back sloping green uh, gives it a little twist. Absolutely. You may tend that, sir, because I'm going to drop it right in there. All right. What do you think, Joe, about six inches out? I'm thinking where my right foot is. Really? I do. Do you know your right from your left before we do this? I'll tell you after you put it. <laughs> oh, now you have a right, Joe. Okay. Well, you can finish that one up. That's a gimme. Gimme? That's a gimme. Yeah, who? Here's for our camera guy. Oh, got the camera guy. Well, Randy, I left a little more tobacco road on this green that I wanted, but I do have an uphill putt fairly simple. Did the nicotine from the tobacco give you the jitters? Is that what happened to you? No, I uh, didn't partake today. Drop, drop. Uh, oh, not bad. Not a bad start. What? Seriously, what a great way to start the round, folks. You can see already the tobacco road is a challenge as this course unfolds to you. It's just beautiful. It's a piece of work. It's a piece of artwork. Well, farming is a big part of our culture in the sand hills, and to turn over the land, they would use uh, these are rippers, and we have discs and plows and cultivators. We decided to use those as our tea markers, so that's where they got those. And uh, the rippers, appropriately enough, are the championship teas. Uh, the ripper, it would go into virgin land to turn it over when the land was quite a bit harder. And then the, uh, the cultivators and the plows, they would just turn over the, the soil that had already been farmed before. And the disc was a similar implement to turn over the land. We'll be right back to hot golf after this. 